All right, here we are in King's Row. Red team coming out the gate first. They're gonna look like they're gonna take wide bus. Let's see what they're gonna do here next. And the blue team not really holding up super close. And it, I don't really know what the red team is doing there in cinema, not really sure, but it looks like they wanna go through hotel if possible. Blue team doing a good job at keeping the Rhine back, but now we've got angles though. Once you start pushing them in the back of hotel there, we get this huge play from, uh, from Warchief, which I have to respect a whole lot. Like this angle has caused a lot of space to be made. Really, really well played here from Warchief. Although from this point forward, he hasn't really been shooting as much, trying to just hide more or less, but really he could be raining down upon them. And now, here's the rain. Here's the value that he was working for. He's going to take the duel in there. Let's see if he wins the duel. He loses the duel, unfortunately, to Superfluous. Superfluous now has a great angle. And actually, this is turnaroundable because of Soldier's positioning. It's on the red team to figure out where this is. There we go. Babel coming in. Going to boop him off the high ground. I just want to take a moment, go back for a second, and appreciate this absolutely phenomenal play coming in from Fable. Really, really good. To, to have the, the wherewithal to push him off the high ground. Really, really, really good job there. Able to take down Superfluous. That was like their main thing that they got going there. Fable coming in. Oh, that wasn't Fable. That was Hot Dog actually coming in with the beat, which is really strong from the blue team. Ryan's now able to push the red team off the point here with only one tick given to the red team. That's pretty big. Here comes uh, Fig Boot rushing back in on the Reinhardt. Now we've got four on point. Baptiste kind of got five contesting point now but blue team's all back together they're able to get a big shatter take down two and now blue team is completely stabilized mm, good block coming in from dolzenak there a high noon coming in from neo there's a lot of resources being used with numbers down numbers disadvantaged not really able to take any more of the point i've got to feel like these are wasted ults it's just a little bit of a choke coming in from red team although here's some kills coming in now so I guess I eat my words. Looks like red team was actually able to find the value. Um, probably just because of the spawn advantage. So good job on the red team recognizing that. And it looks like we're now into the streets phase. And blue team going, doing a good job trying not to concede any more ground past the books. That books, the library, is a really important like position to just keep as the blue team after you've lost point A. If you give up any more space than that, you're just giving up too much. So Purpose is a big ult coming in from behind. Didn't even see that. And that's going to just cause a, 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 a big forced peel from the red team. But once they peel from that, the blue team didn't actually take advantage. Let's go back and just appreciate for a second how much value the, the blue team didn't take. Because you see, like, here, here the blue team can go forward. They can go further forward than this because of the huge distraction that Superfluous is putting behind them. All this attention. And Dolzimax just kind of, like, gets too low and just doesn't go forward. They pull back. They withdraw. And after killing Superfluous, it's just n value not had. Really unfortunate there from the blue team. They could have been so much more aggressive with that. Now, red team is able to just basically snowball this. And we're going to put one on cart, five forward, exactly what they should be doing. And now, red team should be taking as much high ground space as possible. Get in that brewery, get on that catwalk. Make sure there is no way for blue team to get back. We've got a, a Baptiste just kind of spamming down main here. Baptiste should probably exit boots up to that high ground there. Let some soul, or let uh, Junkrat do the spam. Or do it from the low ground at least. Are still coming by quick, and it looks like we have a fucking journey coming from this Hydracta. Let's see if this gets any value. It does. He's able to stop the point. That's actually huge coming in from Hydracta. And it looks like uh, Blue Team is able to stabilize. Incredible. What, what, what kind of route? What kind of Narnia path did he take, though? What, what did it cost? What is this? How far back are we talking? This is the long con coming in from McCree over here, knowing that his team lost the fight. He's sneaking down here. Just guess we just didn't clear um, the pub here from the red team. He's able to be really, really sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. These are really it, it. 
it, it's a good awareness thing on Hydracta to know that um, his team has lost a fight and to just be thinking about the next fight, especially knowing that he has got High Noon. There's a really big play coming from him, actually. Uh, the more I look at it, the more impressive this seems. Really well done there. Really, really well done there. Actually crazy good play. Okay. So I thought that was going to be just uh, just an easy easy point win there for the red team, but I was wrong. Now this, I think, is a pretty big mistake. I don't think that as the blue team, you should be conceding this much ground. Like, definitely, you should have been holding some people on the high ground here. I know you're afraid of getting back capped, but you only have to keep one person on the payload there. Everyone else can just hold space. And as a result here, Red Team is able to just kind of take back all the space for free. Like, they've already got this back alley here. And, and not even Red Team really took all the space they could have taken. Really, it could have been a whole lot worse. There's a beat coming in from Red Team. Windows coming down, beats coming in from both sides. We have uh, Superfluous taking down an Echo. Interesting. Big slam coming in from uh, Dolzamax there. His slams are always impressive. It's very winnable for the red team. Just do the damage. There you go. There you go. Now we push the cart. Nice. Blue team probably not going to be able to get back in time. Although Lucio could maybe touch. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, the payload has reached the uh, the objective. And now it's time for the foundry phase. The final phase here. Let's see if anyone's going to be taking a cute shoe up here. There we go. Warchief immediately takes it. Very good. And huge. Absolutely huge coming in from Tater Thought. Let's go back for just a moment and appreciate this play here. Noticing that Echo is up top, Exoboot's up top, get a couple of shots here, is able to take down Warchief and take the position. He should keep it though, he should keep it. There's no reason, like, I don't know why he's lollygagging up there. He should have been staying up there shooting and he just jumps off of it for some reason. It's really weird. His tire coming in from behind is just going to kill uh, Fig Boot. And Red Team at this point just needs to fall back, regroup, get their Reinhardt back. Don't, want, don't try to do anything without the Reinhardt here, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so here comes back the Reinhardt. Reinhardt should be going main. Uh, someone should be leaping up to the high ground trying to dismantle the Junkrat. Junkrat kind of just voluntarily falls off the top. And blue team with a window, red team with a window, with dueling windows on point. Oh my gosh, Fig with a huge shatter. Sig with a huge lift. And that is a fight win for the red team. Lots of ults invested, but, you know, it is what it is. There's, a, and there's another window. Can we go back a second? For I thought we had windows on both sides. Oh, you know what it was? It was probably Warchief. Oh, okay, and then Warchief copies here. I was gonna say, I didn't know, I, I wanted to see if uh, XZ did window again that quickly. There's a huge play coming in from Warchief. That final window there. I mean, he didn't really need it, but you know, use it might as well. <laughs> Neo, with the little peaking high noon there with the uh, Cassidy, the Coleslaw. Another high noon coming from Hydracta. Doesn't really kill anything. So they're still kind of cockroaching the point here. Except that red team is just isn't taking any deaths. And that's a huge beat coming in from Fable to take the victory there. Minute 13 seconds left on the clock. Score. Zero to three. Switching sides. Ready for battle. All right, let's see how well 47 Protons can do on defense. It looks like we're gonna play really far back from Hotel here. So we're really kind of just playing back Hotel, letting them approach however they want. 
And it looks like they're just kind of gonna just gonna come poke down main here. Blue team's gonna try to rush in through the hotel, and they've got a May. That's gonna be a pretty big deal here. May's got a lot of value. It looks like Dolzamax is down. But Blue May is still alive, wreaking havoc. May could die here, potentially. It looks like May goes down. And so red team has actually stabilized. We got the DMEC, and there's a lot of people in hotel that could, they're all killable. Now there's a Reinhardt here. Gotta be careful about that. Reinhardt's definitely pushable. Okay, now he's not. Now he's not. Now he's not. Now we pull back. Blue team here. Now we're gonna regroup. I wonder if they take the same path or they try to go through hotel or try to take wide fountain or something else. Looks like they're trying to peek through hotel there again. I mean, the, the May wall is a big play, allowing them to kind of take that. And looks like red team's gonna sort of let them do that. Huge there. Now that was a big block coming in from Fig Boot. Let's appreciate that for just a moment. Absolutely huge block coming in from Fig, showing that he can also block shatters 1% of the time and not just have all of his shatters blocked by Dolzamax. Big alpha play coming in there from Fig. Good job, Fig. And a charge immediately comes in. A nano to the Dolzamax. A shatter gets blocked by Dolzamax. Fig goes down. There's a window and a blizzard and a Hanzo ult. This is a lot of ults. Pretty much everyone decides to press Q on this party. Holy shit. Or it's just 2v2 on point. What's going to happen? Now it's 1v... Oh my gosh. Neo gets the kill. Oh my gosh. Sorry, he gets the kill. Neo gets the kill. Oh. The, the play continues. The match continues. Not even a tick for the blue team with every single ult off the table. Now in the neutral, we just have Mephisto with a D.Va ult coming online here and a beat coming from Hot Dog, a beat coming from Fable. Let's see how he uses the beats. Let's see if we wait to use beat before D.Va bomb. Blue starts rushing point here and Red's totally dismantled, jumped into that hallway, forced to use beat. Now with beat, they can kind of walk out of the hallway. But there's a counter beat coming in from the blue team. And I don't think anything can be done now for the blue team. There's the bomb, no beat to respond. Bomb kind of opens the point. There's the Hanzo ult again coming in from Neo already. Just a single fight later after she just used ult last fight. Neo goes down. We're still cockroaching on the red team to try to stall as long as possible. Fable's still stalling. Looks like Reaper's here to stall too. Use the fade on point. Red still just has to kill that. And then we're going with a shatter. I wouldn't have shattered there. But there's uh, Big Boot also still just holding as long as possible. Diva takes the high ground and we're pushing in now to the streets phase at just 3 minutes 42 seconds left on the clock. Red team's going to hold books here, putting the spam limit damage right down main there. But not the whole... Okay, there's the Hanzo. Hanzo is kind of low. We use regenerative burst. Still kind of trying to just spam as much as possible. If blue team only knew how sort of weak the defense is there on books, they would have put... There we go. Now they figured it out. There's the Nano and the Reinhardt, the signature play from SMU Blue, the thing we see every single time. Warchief going for the ult, but against the Nano, Reinhardt is just not going to be enough. Also with a D.Va there, never expect a Reaper ult to do anything with an active D.Va with full defense matrix. It's just not going to work. And it looks like Blue Team, and especially Dolzmax, has the absolute right idea to hold as much space as possible. However, I think that D.Va really should be holding up in the high ground. McCree going for a big flank here. Trying to just be on the, the off angle. Really like this play. Really, really dangerous play coming in here from Hydracta. But no, he decides to come back to main. There's a window and a blizzard. This could get really nasty really fast. Big purple there on the on Fig Boot and another dragon coming in from uh, from Neo. Looks pretty stabilizing actually, and it, it very well this could actually be held by the red team. Got a beat being used from Hot Dog, probably not not their proudest beat. Very unlikely the proudest beat. Tater thought taking the alley to get out of there. Actually manages to live. Good job on Tater Thought surviving. Warchief is now on the Sombra. Let's see how they use that. I didn't realize that. That happened a little bit ago. Now we have Bomb again coming in from the blue team. Bomb, I don't see getting a whole lot of value here, but if it's used really far in the late fight, it really could catch some people off guard, especially if it's used from the catwalk. So let's see if 
Um, Diva manages to do that from the catwalk. Right now, Diva, I think, is the mech. They don't see her mech. Yeah. Again, a nano on the Reinhardt. We're able to shatter the Reinhardt and pin him. There's the immortality field keeping us alive. The counter shatter coming on a fig. Huge coming in from Dolzamax. We got Zarya is purpled. Probably can't stay alive. And Neo with another. Holy shit, Neo. Another dragon arrow. I mean, is every single fight coming from this absolute monster of a Hanzo player. Completely. That is really incredible play coming in from Neo. Now we're 95 to EMP here. We have EMP beat window on the red team. We have uh, just really a high noon and a diva bomb coming in from the blue team. I'm pretty sure that red team is going to win this fight with only 50 seconds left on the clock. Really all they need is the, the EMP there, which is they're, they're going to use immediately. And, you know, blue team knows that they're beat. Although this is really weird. Like, red team had the EMP. They could have pushed harder there, but they really just... just kind of didn't have a whole lot of aggression. I'm not really sure why, and I kind of want to go back and see what is going on here. Why exactly did Red Team pull out of this? Why are they blocking? Why? I mean, the, the blue team is hacked. I don't know what exactly is going on here. Why, why, are, why is the Red Team so cowardly pulling back and just giving up space again? That could they, they really could have cleaned that up, but they didn't. Blue team is just going to gather up again. Didn't really have to use any ults that fight. Now blue team, now with 20 seconds left on the clock, I'm actually seeing there's a very big possibility blue team could cap this point because they do have Blizzard coming up. They have High Noon, they have Bomb, and they really could, if they play this right, could farm this Nano, especially off of Dolzamax. Here's the Blizzard. Able to use Beat after getting anti as well. We're going to play out that Blizzard. There's the grab. Coming from red team. And here is another ult coming from Neo. I don't even see where the dragon is, honestly. I have no idea where that went. Go back for a second. Where is that? Oh my god, Neo get absolutely out motherfucking played by Mephisto. Just totally, just, just like, hello, Hanzo. I'm just going to eat that dragon arrow. I did not expect to see that from Blue Diva. Hella good job. Gets Nano as well. Well earned on that Nano. Throws Bomb into the corner. Doesn't really get any. But, oh my gosh. The, the red team actually wins this though. I want to go watch that fight just one more time. That was incredible. So the blue team drops the Blizzard and we use the beat. Beat almost Almost protects XC there, but not quite. Just really good defense coming in from the red team there. The uh, Remek not really able to get any value, unfortunately. And that's it. There you have it. Red team's just better. That's all I don't know. It's just better. Holy shit.